welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, we're back in Blender and I'm going to show you how to export your files from Blender into Roblox Studio so you can start working in your products. So what you do is you just want to come over and you just want to select all of your products. Well, say products, all of your models. And then you want to come over to File, Export, and then you're going to click fbx as that is the roblox file code save program so you're going to click that and then you're going to save it in the place you want to save then what you want to do is you want to head over to roblox the game you want to export it in just and then you want to make sure your game is saved to roblox so i'm just going to call this test um and then i'm going to click save it's just going to save the place and then you want to come up to view and then you want to make sure you have asset manager open so you just want to click on that and you can dock it on the page which is what i've done it might come up here or something and then what you want to click is you want to click this little uh, import icon then what you want to do is you want to click what you want to load up so when you've got your model ready to load up you're just going to double click it and then here i want to import it as a single mesh so you can change colors and so they're not grouped all the time uh so i'm just gonna click apply then it will do that and it will say imported uh, and then it will say how many it's imported so far and then of how many you're importing so how many parts in that mesh you're importing and it'll say files and then when this is complete you will come over to your asset manager and you're just going to click Control alt and then we're gonna just uh, click on every single one you yeah. want to import and then you're just gonna click insert and then you just have to wait a second and then there they are and then what you want to do is sometimes they're in the ground so you can just move them up and then of course you can color each individual one it's just perfect for your liking so for example C green and then that green's a bit drastic but you get the gist uh it's something like hang on i've done it the wrong way around <laughs> stupid me um so what you're gonna do is you just want to color it just like that as simple as just like that and then you can just what i would suggest doing is i would suggest grouping and then duplicating and then you can move them around your map how you uh how you want to anyway guys if this video was helpful i really appreciate if you liked the video it helps support me and it's totally free for you guys peace